Hey there, Nancy, Drew, Clue, Crew, I'm Mora, and in this little video, I'm going to show you how you can get Katie to confess that she's been feeding the orca in Danger on Deception Island. So the first thing I need to do to trigger this confession is go to the storage closet in the Hot Kettle Cafe after it's robbed, and go down to the bottom here. Allow me to click on this. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. Maybe Jenna said that some tools and boat parts were stolen, and it looks like this box has been wiped clean. So then after I look at the items in the closet, I go back to Katie's boat, and I hear some unusual noises. It sounds like she's found some items to help her fix the engine, and she's making progress on it. Hey, what's going on? Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. So let's take a close look at the items. Save King. Oh, they came from Save King too. And here are some boat tools and parts as well. But wait, where's this water from the f freezer coming from? Like. Where's why is, I mean, why is there water seeping out of the freezer? What is that smell? Well, if you watch my walkthrough at the beginning, I go into the freezer and find this, this little cooler that seemed to be full of ice, but given that water is seeping out and there's a terrible odor being released, it can only mean one thing. That smells awful. Oh my, yeah. Really fishy business there. And these look very much like Atlantic Harry that I saw on the beach at the lighthouse earlier. Well, it can only mean one thing. So having seen uh, the save cane box in Jenna's storage closet and now the fish going bad in the freezer here, if I talk to Katie again, this will then lead to her confessing about feeding the orca. What's up? So I start with this. Jenna Devlin said some of the things that were stolen from her back room in that burglary were boat parts she bought at Save King. And... Oh, listen to the way she said and. Like she su suspects we're on to her thinking that she stole the items. I noticed a box from Save King over there and just thought it was kind of an interesting coincidence. Everyone around here shops at Save King for boat parts and practically everything else. Any other questions? Oh, the way she said any other questions sounds like she's getting defensive. And so now we that leads to this question, which is what leads to her confession. Are you aware that there's a whole lot of fish going bad in your freezer? Of course I am. Whoever tore up my engine damaged my wiring, too. Refrigerators out, freezers out, TVs out. It's herring, if I'm not mistaken. The same kind of fish... And here's her confession. All right. I've been feeding the orca, okay, but I'm not the only one. I can't afford to feed her much, and there's not enough natural fish in the channel for her to exist on, yet she's doing fine, which means someone else is feeding her, too. You know, this is not a good time for me to be trying to entertain a house guest. How about a rain check? <sighs> no problem. I understand. As soon as I get this fixed, I'll take you to the mainland so you can catch a flight back to River Heights. I'm sorry, Nancy. Okay, so that's her confession, and she's kicked Nancy out because feeding the orca is illegal, and so she's embarrassed to have been discovered and doesn't know what else to do. So given that, now I can't talk to her anymore. I'm kind of busy here, if you don't mind. Sorry. And it's just an option, but I'm going to show that you can call Bess and George after Nancy has been given the boot. Hi, Bess. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? I'm afraid Katie's given me the boot. What do you mean? I mean, as soon as she finishes fixing her boat, she's going to drive me to the airport and send me back to River Heights. She's kicking you out? Why? I found out she'd been feeding the orca, which is illegal, and I guess she was embarrassed and didn't know what else to do. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like Katie. I'm sorry, Nan. My gosh, George, you sure have some weird friends. Weird cousins, weird friends. What can I say? I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Okay, and so that's everything that has to do with uh, getting Katie to confess that she's been feeding the orca. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you next time.